I decided, Crusaders, I want to pick up with our analysis of this, uh, this model that was put out by Imperial College. You can agree with the model or not, um, but if, if, even if you don't, you, it's at least important to know what this is so that we can, you know what England and America is using to make the decisions that they've been making these last couple, uh, last couple days and weeks. So one thing that this analysis that Imperial College in England put out, one thing it assumes, and I think rightfully, is that any efforts we take now, we don't know how many people get the virus, get sick, and then get healthy and, and are now immune, right? We don't know anything about COVID immunity. Uh, again, real quick, do we have the picture of the virus? We're not calling it, I'm not calling it coronavirus anymore because coronavirus, as we mentioned earlier, is a family of different viruses, MERS, SARS. Uh, but if we have the picture of the virus here, the, the reason that it's called, this one's called coronavirus is because of the shape of it. So all those little like spike things, those are, corona means crown in Greek. So they're little crowns on top of the virus. Viruses all look very, very, very different. So that's why it's the family a virus is called coronavirus. Anyway, we don't know how long COVID immunity lasts. So chicken box, you've, you've heard this before. We all have this idea that once you get chicken pox, you never get it again. So you have lifetime immunity. It's not exactly true. My understanding is it's something like 10 to 20 year immunity, but then we all have herd immunity. Well, yeah, long story. But SARS, SARS immunity, which is another type of coronavirus, it lasts two to three years, we think. OC43 and HKU1, other type of coronaviruses. It's just a cold when you get it. You're immune, you get it, and you're immune for less than a year. So if you get coronavirus, or you get COVID, excuse me, if you get COVID, uh, and then you get healthy again, we don't know. We don't know how long you stay immune for. The entire British strategy is based on this idea of herd immunity, but that requires a lot of assumptions. And one of the assumptions is that once you get it, you can't get it twice. We don't know. So I say this because the, the Imperial College, they're predicting, and I think correctly, they're predicting a reemergence of COVID. And that's just something we got to wrap our head around. Here's what they said in the, in the study we've been talking about. Uh, once interventions are relaxed, so once everyone goes back on with their life, infections will begin to rise, resulting in a predicted peak epidemic later in the year, this winter. The more successful a strategy is a temporary suppression, so the more successful we are now at keeping everyone quarantined and keeping it from spreading, the larger the later epidemic is predicted to be in the absence of a vaccination due to, uh, due to lesser buildup of herd immunity, right? So the, it's, it's like, oh, this is so complicated, it's so tricky. The better job we do now of quarantining people and keeping them from spreading means potentially the worse it could be this winter. Jeez. And that's why I made this, this video uh, yesterday. It's on the first Twitter. The president at a press conference and he, he mentioned uh, August. This could all go on till August. I thought, August? <laughs> what, are we, what are we talking about August? This August seems like years from now. What are we talking? I was like, I'm not, I'm not mentally prepared for August. I mean, I don't have enough food to get us through five months, but I'm sure we can, you know, we'll get some more food somehow. But, but I'm not even like, like my, I can't even wrap my head around August. So we got to not only prepare mental, uh, physically, but also mentally and, and, and emotionally for months of this. I'm not saying months of quarantining, but months of just like this. How can we wrap our head around that? And I'm, anyway, so I put a video on that yesterday on Twitter, and people are like, oh, Slater, you an idiot. He didn't say the quarantine would last six months. He said the virus could last six months. Listen, first of all, no one knows anything. But it seems like this, this that's not even true. Six, it could be way longer than six months. This whole thing could come back around. It could go away and then come back up this winter after six months. So get ready for the long haul. Slater Crusaders, thanks for watching the first on YouTube. If you want more, like, subscribe. We got plenty.